Hey, what's up, Sailor Sinji? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today, I have a clothing and accessory haul for you from two different merchandise brands. One is Japan LA, and the other one is out of Ireland, and they are called Primark or Primark. So the one in Ireland, I have a friend in Dublin, and I asked him if he could go and grab some of these items from his local store, and luckily, he was able to do so for me so thank you so much to my really awesome friend in Dublin I appreciate you so much <laughs> I didn't know what sizing to get so hopefully everything fits correctly and then the other one is Japan LA all of these items from Japan LA are still in stock at time of recording so I will put links to all of these down below and if I have the pricing on these items I will also include that information down in the description as well so you can easily find it and that way you won't get scammed on eBay or Mercari so let's go ahead and get started with my box of items from Primark. So there are several items in this collaboration. I apologize if these items are a little bit wrinkly. They've been in a box for a little while, so that would be why. Okay, so here's my pile of clothes. <laughs> I will give you some extra footage of me wearing these items and trying them on so you can get an idea of what the sizing looks like as well. But for starters, I'm just gonna show you the designs and give you an idea of what Premark was selling. So the first item that I have are a pair of bike shorts. Now, out of the box, these do look a little bit big for me, so I will definitely have to try them on. Yeah, these are a size large, and I think I usually go for a size medium, but these do look really, really comfy, so if they are a little bit big, hopefully they fit my waist. If not, if any of these things don't fit me, I usually resell them over on my Instagram page for close to the original retail price plus shipping. So this was relatively inexpensive at 10 euros. These are pretty cool because they have a Sailor Moon logo on the side, and then you also have Sailor Moon silhouette on the other leg. Super, super cute, very adorable. Maybe I could use these as PJs, we'll see. <laughs> so the second item from Primark is this really cute hoodie. Um, even if this is too big for me, I would definitely keep it just because it's so adorable. So this is in a USA eight to 10 size but this is a size medium. So the original cost for this was 18 euro and it looks like these products are made by BioWorld. So the inside of this hoodie is super, super soft. I love that. And the hood looks like a really decent size. The back of this hoodie doesn't have anything on it, but the front of it has this really cool full size print of Sailor Moon along with her English logo down at the bottom. And it looks super, super soft and big and fluffy. And I feel like I could just like sit around the house in this thing. Okay, there's three more items, really quick and easy. This is a crop top. It was eight euro and this is a size large. This crop top is very simple, really cute. It has a very cute little embroidery image of Luna on the front of it with a pink, a light pink crescent moon behind her. I love that it's embroidered instead of print. I hope that it lasts a long time because it is embroidery. This next item is a sleep shirt. So definitely gonna be very comfy. Size large. This one was 12 euros and it's actually two-sided. So on the front we have Sailor Moon sitting on her crescent moon, the famous logo that we've seen over the past like decade. At the top it says Bishojo Senshi Seira Moon. And again, this is two-sided. It's very, very tall. It's a very long shirt. So you could definitely use this as a sleep shirt, as like a pajama shirt. The back of it features the five inner Sailor Senshi. I love that it features all five of them. I think that's so cool. And I love that it's two-sided. So I feel like you get quite a bit for your dime. The back of it also says Bishoujo Senshi, Seira Moon, up at the top. The print on here also, I wanted to point this out. It feels very, very nice. It feels like the ink is just like dying the thread. It's not a screen print that's ironed onto the front of it. So I'm thinking that it's good quality. However, time will tell, of course. This also means that you won't be bothered by a stiff print if you are using this to sleep. I think that's a nice little detail given that you're supposed to be sleeping in this thing. The last item from Primark, this one is also a size large, 13 euro. This is a crop top sweater, which I don't understand the point of a crop top sweater. Maybe somebody else out there does, but I feel like if you're wearing a sweater, you wanna be warm and 
Montana has got to be warm, okay? But anyway, I would probably wear this at the beach in the summertime, like during those cold, cold summer nights. I think this would be really nice and comfy. It's not super thick. It's a pretty thin shirt, but the front of it is so cool. And this is why I wanted it because it features Uranus and Neptune as well as the Inner Senshi, which is very rare. You don't get a lot of Uranus and Neptune on merchandise that you can wear on clothing. Not to mention, you usually see the Inner Senshi from the first couple of seasons. You don't usually get a lot of supers or eternal type of merchandise. So I appreciate that they have all of the Inner Senshi in their supers fukus. So super cute, love how they did the art. I love how each of the Senshi is outlined with their designated colors. I think that's really pretty. The print on this one is a little bit stiffer than the PJ shirt, the sleep shirt, but hopefully it won't tear when I actually wear it and start to wash it. So that is everything from Primark. Again, I will show you close-ups as I go through those so you can see what they look like wearing them. Hopefully they all fit. <laughs> okay, so moving on, these next three items are from Japan LA. So Japan LA came out with this collaboration very recently to the point where you can still find these items on their website. They are still in stock. I did not get everything from the Japan LA collaboration. They also came out with some pins, which are soft enamel pins. I don't collect soft enamel pins anymore, so I decided to skip those. They also came out with some really, really cute sparkly barrettes that you can wear in your hair, some hair barrettes. But I saw an Instagram, some people were pointing out that the design on the top of them was kind Coming off like the glue was dried and it was kind of peeling off from the actual barrette piece so I felt like those might have been kind of cheap so I'm not going to purchase those either but I did purchase the two shirts that are available as well as the backpack because it's a holographic backpack and um, that's that's my thing. I love hollow. I love hollow everything. So I had to get it. <laughs> All right. So again, these items are made by BioWorld. We are seeing a trend today. I did not realize when I put these items together for this video that everything was made by the same merchandise company, BioWorld, but they are. So it looks like they licensed specific types of items to different brands worldwide or for different markets. Hopefully we will see these markets internationally. However, I don't have any information on that. BioWorld, if you want to mention anything about licensing, please do. You are welcome to get in contact with me. I will be more than happy to be a press affiliate. I have been hosting and producing online content for 13 years, so I have a decent knowledge of how FTC guidelines and requirements go, as well as endorsements. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the backpack, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Look at how much this shines in my studio lighting. It does have a slight smell to it because it is plastic. It kind of reminds me of some of the stuff I would buy in the 90s. Very, very vintage look really 90s inspired, love that. I love this logo up at the top, Japan LA, Sailor Moon, and just all the icons covering the entire thing means that no matter what, you're bound to get a really, really cute print. So on the front, we have Artemis, really, really obvious right on the front. We have Sailor Moon's bow, there's the compact. I see the moon stick all over this thing, the inner Sailor Senshi symbols. On the back, I, I got lucky, I got a really nice print on the back. So we have the moon stick up at the front right there and then we have Luna Luna's head all over the place that is really cute I wonder if we have any additional pockets on the inside or anything this would be great for a theme park I should take this to USJ I am considering going back to Japan in 2023 and this would be great for that so we have a front pocket where you could stick any of your accessories but it's large enough to fit quite a few things this thing is totally squished from the packaging. I'm trying to unsquish this so you can see how big it actually is. Oh my God, ah, it's so big. The more I look at this, the more I love it. And the more I think I wanna get a second one just to have an extra, like a backup in case I wear this one out because it is so cute. It's really cute. Like I highly recommend this cause it's adorable. This is a decent size backpack. You can tell if I put it right next to me, how big it is. It's definitely bigger than lounge fly bags. It is made out of plastic. So it probably won't last as long as a lounge fly bag. I don't know if the print is going to wear off or scuff really easily. Only time will tell with that. You do have padded shoulder straps 
and they are adjustable. And there is a loop at the top so you can hang this if you're taking it to school, for example. There is no additional zipper pocket on the inside, but you do have that external pocket on the front as well as the main pocket for all of your necessities. So very simplistic backpack as a backpack, but when it comes to the design, this thing is awesome. I love what this looks like. Very impressed. I think this is my favorite thing so far. This is really cute. I want another one. <laughs> okay. Then we have a couple of shirts. Now I bought both of these shirts in small. I assumed that would fit me well because I know this one is rather large and this one is a crop top and I wanted it to look okay on my body type. So I ended up getting a small. So this one is really cute. This is a crop top that features Sailor Moon with her eyes and her, her Odongos up at the top. This is a very unique looking crop top and it looks like it's made well. The print has dyed the threads as opposed to being screen printed, which I appreciate. That's a really, really cute design. I love it. And then we also have this color block tee. So I heard that this shirt is rather large, so probably unisex, which inspired me to get a small. Okay, I love that this shirt is a full scale design. So it's from top to bottom. It's not just over your chest. It's like straight up in your face. Sailor Moon. Like that is a wonderful design. It's so big. <laughs> also very cute and not quite obvious on the website is you get Sailor Moon's compact on the shoulder and you also get that very cute icon of Luna on the other sleeve. That's adorable. This one again is something that's very in your face and I appreciate that because I think it's very, very cute. So that was the last item in my lookbook of BioWorld Sailor Moon items from Japan LA as well as Premark. Let me know which one was your favorite and if there's any of these items that you would purchase yourself down below in the comments. And again, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, definitely do if you are as obsessed with Sailor Moon as I am because that's all I talk about here. So hopefully you enjoyed it. <laughs> Check out my Instagram for additional photos of these items as I wear them and try them on and give you a demo. In the meantime, thank you again so much for watching. My name is Sailor Snubs. Johnny. <laughs>